to the ring, Oscar De La Hoya, 19 years of age in his second appearance of the Olympic Games on Thursday. He stopped Adelson Silva of Brazil at 2.53 of round three. And he'll be going against Moses Odeon, Wally, and uh, should be interesting to see De La Hoya with that slight little nick the other night. Yes, that might be a problem for him, but even more than that, Bob, it's kind of fitting and almost a little bit unfair that the pressure of this night to salvage something for the United States comes down to Oscar De La Hoya. And you see his father, Joel, right there on the right of your screen in the blue shirt. And the De La Hoya fan club. And a lot of the pressure on Oscar De La Hoya comes from right there and has been coming from right there for a long time. Added pressure today, Bob, because the U.S. has gone 0 for 3. They're looking to Oscar De La Hoya to get them back on track here. He's got to come up big. 20-year-old Moses Odian of Nigeria, a winner on Thursday against Janos Petrovic of Hungary, 18 to 8. And there out of East Los Angeles on McDonald Avenue, Oscar De La Hoya, 19 years of age. And the referee for this contest, Yabunikin of Yugoslavia. We begin round number one. The story of Oscar De La Hoya, well chronicled. His mother, Cecilia, passing away in 1990 after a battle with cancer, went to the Goodwill Games in 1990, where Oscar won giving up her treatments to see her son. She always sat in the upper reaches of the arena, and De La Hoya has de dedicated this quest for a goal for his mother. And Bob, after every victory, Oscar De La Hoya drops to a knee and gestures up toward the sky, which he did when his mother sat up in the high seats. Does it now in memory of her? And I'll tell you what, you cannot emphasize enough the amount of pressure on Oscar De La Hoya to win here tonight. There was some concern as to the fact that De La Hoya was fighting on the last day of the first round on Thursday with all the pressure on him, but he started brisk against Silva and dropped him in early parts of round one. De La Hoya looked absolutely sensational in that fight, and one of the concerns about him would be how he would react to the tremendous pressure on him. He's practically had that gold medal draped around his neck already, and a lot of people forgot the fact that he had to come here and fight for that. And he looked very, very good in that first round bout. Moses Odeon on a south part presents some different problems for De La Hoya. However, a fighter with as good a left hook as De La Hoya should have no problems with a south part. De La Hoya, 38-1 and one in international competition. His only loss against Marco Rudolph in the second round of the World Championships this past year in Sydney. Moses Odeon doing what he did in his first round bout, Bob, and that is using the ring very well, making it difficult for his opponent to hit him. One minute to go in this first round. Oscar De La Hoya in the blue. Moses Odeon of Nigeria in the red. And an aggressive De La Hoya. He might even be a little bit over-aggressive, Bob. He's lunging in a bit, and some of that can be the fact that he really wants to win this fight even more than he normally wants to win a fight. In the background, you can hear the Nigerian teammates with their noisemakers. And lots of fans here to see De La Hoya. Final 30 seconds of round one. The United States losing their two captains today, Eric Griffin and Sergio Reyes, along with Pepe Riley. Will they go 0 for 4 on this, what has become a dark Saturday for the U.S. boxing team? And this by far the worst nightmare that head coach Joe Bird could have imagined. He said, if you had told me on a day like this that we could lose three out of four bouts, I never would have believed it. And they have already done that. Moses Odeon with a 1-0 lead after one round. I'm not surprised by that, Bob, to be honest with you, because there were not many clean punches landed by either fighter.
Nigerian noisemakers, and we heard Joe Bird say, lead with the right hand and hook back. That's one way of fighting a southpaw. You know, I've said it a million times in this tournament. I prefer fighters who lead with a left hook against the southpaws. I think it's the easiest punch to hit them with right underneath or right over that right jab. So Oscar De La Hoya down one nothing at the end of one round. We begin round number two. Bob, one of De La Hoya's trademarks as a young amateur, and it was so striking because few young amateurs do it, was the way he would slip to his left and dig a left hook to the body, and I think that would work perfectly against his opponent. Moses Odian turned 20 years of age one month ago. De La Hoya at 19. Odian was grinning a bit there as he evaded De La Hoya's punches. There's a hook to the body, Wally, a left-handed hook by De La Hoya. Well, that's his punch. That's a punch that he learned from his former trainer, Al Stanky. Something that he picked up also from one of his idols, Paul Gonzalez. De La Hoya putting the pressure on. That punch landed under the armpit of Odeon. Odeon digging to the body. Hard to imagine what kind of an adverse effect it would have on the U.S. team if De La Hoya were to lose here tonight, Bob. One minute gone by in round two. On Sunday, Tim Austin will fight and Raul Marquez. The United States 12 and four overall, but it doesn't seem that way after they lost their three fights today and De La Hoya with pressure on Odie and Moses, but he's able to slip away. Odeon's a very, very difficult fighter to pin down. There was a decent left hook by De La Hoya. So De La Hoya takes a right hand back, but he has had the scoring advantage, it would seem, here in round two. He still seems a little bit tight. It's either the style of Odeon, but I think it's more likely. That was a good right, heat, right lead by De La Hoya. And he knows he's got to win here, and it's so much harder to do something when there's that much pressure on you. I think Odeon's style might be a little tough, too, as we approach one minute remaining in round two. He's always bouncing and moving just a little bit. There's a right by De La Hoya that scores. Odeon has very long arms to the weight class. That was a right left by De La Hoya. And that scores as well, and he digs to the body. Moses Odeon ducks away. 30 seconds remaining in round two. And back goes the head of Odeon. And that jab that snapped back the head of Odeon was De La Hoya's best punch of the fight. The chant of Oscar. And a pretty good round number two for Oscar De La Hoya. Oh, and look at that. Odeon hit De La Hoya right in the face after the bell sounded. And Felix Savone sitting in the De La Hoya section. And seven to one De La Hoya. He throws the shutout in round number two. Some of the scoring from De La Hoya in that round. Finishes off a combination with a left hook very well, but then misses the follow-up hook. And you heard, you heard Joe Bird say, keep on leading with that right hand. This is all yours, Oscar. And as the chant of USA goes up for Oscar De La Hoya, some booze. It has been an emotionally charged day for the United States team. And you know, after Eric Griffin lost this morning, shockingly, really, not so much because of the decision, but because of the fact that it was Griffin, Joe Bird said this could be a very bad day for us, and I think he was a lot more prophetic than he had hoped to be. Odeon scored as De La Hoya came in. De La Hoya now ripping to the body and scores on the right hand. And back goes Odeon. And a standing eight count being administered. 
And just like in his first fight against Adelson Silva, Oscar De La Hoya came alive when he got stung. He was jolted by a right hand from Odeon just before he turned up that flurry. 2.20 to go in round three. De La Hoya with a 7-1 lead coming into round two after losing round one, 1-0. One There's a lot of people here that want to see the U.S. team lose. The well, word has spread about the protest regarding Eric Griffin. Aiba will make an announcement at 10.15 tomorrow morning, Barcelona time. And De La Hoya answers back. It doesn't look like that left cheek of De La Hoya has bled at all in this fight. past the midway point of this final round. So far in the Olympics, it's been a poised Oscar De La Hoya through nearly his first two fights. Well, it really has, Bob, and that's a very, very big indication of the kind of fighter that this young man will be because from here on in, he's gonna be in nothing but pressure-filled situa situations, and this is the way he has to react. And a right hand by De La Hoya scores. The way he started his first bout told us a lot about what these Olympics might be for De La Hoya. But in a lot of ways, Bob, this one's even bigger. And now Moses Odian just trying to land one punch. Dug to the body of De La Hoya, but Oscar with the right hand again. That has worked effectively, that lead right. And Joe Bird's advice in the corner, absolutely right for Oscar De La Hoya in this fight. Getting with the palm, a caution to De La Hoya. But he looks to be comfortably in front. And the U.S. team really needed a victory from him here tonight. And De La Hoya looking to finish strong. And Moses Odian. And Oscar De La Hoya. Good fight as you get a look at the De La Hoya section. And Oscar back to his corner. I don't think this one will be in doubt, Wally. Not at all, and I'm telling you, that's what the U.S. team really needed because to have lost four straight and to have lost Reyes, Griffin, and De La Hoya in the same day would have been devastating for this team. So the United States, which lost all three fights during the day session, Griffin and Reyes, the co-captains, and Pepe Riley, look to Oscar De La Hoya. <laughs> De La Hoya, 16 to 4, he goes to a knee and points to his mother. And Oscar De La Hoya, 16 to 4, a winner, trailing 1 to nothing at the end of one round, outscored Moses Odian 7 to 1 in the second, and wins the fight 16 to 4. So the 19 year old out of East Los Angeles with a very impressive effort, and he advances to the quarterfinals on Monday evening, and you'll see it entirely here on the Red Channel. Oscar De La Hoya, victorious in round two of the 1992 Summer Olympics. I hope you enjoy